the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. There is singing up in heaven such as we have never known. Breathing angels in the presence of the Lamb upon the throne. Their sweet hearts are ever tuneful and their voices always clear. For our good night message on this Thursday, the 5th of October 2023, broadcasting from the Salesian Community of the Sacred Heart in Lusaka, Zambia, by your servant, Father Eustace Siame, a Salesian of Don Bosco, we listen to this angel story entitled The Angel Nurse. But when I sing redemption story, they will fall their wings. In 1998, Luke was diagnosed with bone cancer at the tender age of eight. As sometimes happens, he came down with an infection, which meant he had to go to the hospital. He was there for about two weeks, and that's when something remarkable happened. One evening, Luke's mother was sitting at his bedside, quietly praying as he slept. A nurse came into the room to check Luke's temperature, but his mother noted something rather peculiar about her. The nurse was wearing an old-fashioned uniform of the type that would have been common 30 years earlier in the 60s. The nurse noticed that Luke's mother had a Bible by the side of his bed. She said that she was a Christian too, and said she would pray for Luke's healing. Luke's family had never seen the old nurse before, and they never saw her again in Luke's remaining time at the hospital. I came out of the hospital fully healed of my infection, says Luke, who was 19 when he told his story. Remarkably, he is now completely free of cancer. My mom believes this nurse could have been a garden angel coming down to give my mom some hope. Luke says, if she wasn't an angel, why should she be wearing 1960s old-fashionedness clothing connected to this? I have a story that my young sister was sharing with me about what happened to our brother-in-law. He was sick and dying, and the doctors had even given up in that university teaching hospital in Lusaka, Zambia, and they had put a sucking tube on the side. In fact, the nurse who is our cousin came and said, if this tube manages to stay for the next 24 hours, then he's surviving. Otherwise, he won't last for over 24 hours. He would die. And another nurse came, who was like a garden angel, was implored by my young sister to remove that tube. She insisted that it was against the code of conduct to remove what the doctor had put. But knowing the situation, she removed that tube. And that saved the life of my brother-in-law. He started mending. And I'm talking of over 10 years ago, and he is fine to this day. Our God is powerful. He works through guardian angels like this, through nurses like this who are used by God as guardian angels. I don't know your own experience. You might have had a guardian angel experience of a nurse in the hospital where you were recovering. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, World without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father. Angels stand and listen, for they cannot join the soul. Let the sound of many waters by that blood was strong for they sing about great
Zion's battles fought and victories won. And they praised the great Redeemer who had said to them, Well done, holy, holy is what the angels sing. And I expect to help them make the courts of heaven ring. But when I sing redemption story, Редактор субтитров